right and left leaning increases, a comparison of increases using yarn overs and e loops. I knit continental and I find e loops much easier to knit than yarn overs. I'll show you. Using yarn overs to make left and right leaning increases. Knitting Tami sock, so it's knit, swap, knit one, knit two together. This is one of the pattern rows. Then there's a standard yarn over which will be used for right leaning increase. Knit the next stitch, reverse yarn over, which is a left leaning increase, and slip slip knit, which is a left leaning decrease. On the next row, these yarn overs need to be twisted to close up the holes. So, the right leaning increase, knit into the front of it, which twists it closed, prevents a hole. Knit the next stitch, standard knit stitch. This yarn over, the left leaning one, I always have to reverse to turn into a left leaning increase. I prefer to use E loop increases over yarn overs. I think because I knit continental, I find these easier to execute. For a right leaning increase, I make an E loop using my thumb against my left index finger so the tip of the needle through and pull the increase tight. I knit the next stitch. To make a left leaning increase, I make the loop the other way. Again, sliding it tight, knitting. The next one is slip, slip, knit. On the next round, these are, I find, easier to knit up than a yarn over increase, though they're structurally the same. To knit up the right leaning increase, knit into the back of the stitch that's already twisted and waiting for you. Knit the next stitch, and to knit the left leaning increase, you just knit it as a normal stitch. It's got the right orientation on the needle. 